Mario and his friends took the space byway and merged into the Woe Zone. Known to some as a space graveyard, it is said to consume all who entered it. Just a little bit longer, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes, a glimmering Squirps continued to forge onward. Would Mario and his friends get their hands in the pure heart at long last? Hello everybody, my name is Ruben Kings, and welcome to Super Paper Mario, Chapter 4-4, The Mysterious Mr. L. Okay, so we have now arrived at the Woe Zone. Oh my goodness. We're here! Oh, Squirps has finally arrived, Squibbly. This music, though, like, Jesus. You can't see me, but I'm dancing. Like, this, oh my goodness, it's so good. Squirps is here! I love this. Squirps can't wait. Squirps is going to secure your head. Follow Squirps when you can! But remember, Space Grants, this place is a super complicated maze. You'll get lost before you know it, so pay attention where you're going, Squirp. Well, Squirps, see you guys later at the spot where the pure heart waits. Alright, so let's do this. He left at a time like this, but I must say, I feel the presence of a pure heart, so it's somewhere in the zone. Alright, first things first, I want to try to get maybe Carrie here, because I think we'll benefit from stuff like this. Now, first things first, obviously, you want to save. Because we're going to be entering a brand new dimension. Ooh, spooky. Alright, so we got some more enemies from the, the great tree. And I believe this is just going to make a flower thing appear. I wanted... I wanted Carrie just so she can do things. Thank you. Alright, ooh. Alright, alright, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. But yeah, I wanted to get carried just so we can move a little bit faster. Um, oh, here we have... Uh, I don't think we've seen this enemy yet. Let's talk to him. The Bizarre Beast is called it Pythagorithm. Pythagorithm. I... Pigarithm. Pigarithm? Bro, I am literally not good at math, okay? I'm pretty sure he's making a math joke. 100%. 100%. So yeah, it takes like multiple hits to do it. Uh, you can get rid of them pretty easily. Once you do that, I need to flip into 3D. Now I can just get on carry and just do this. Like, it's fantastic. Oh my goodness. I got rid of one, like that. And like that. And ouch. Now there seems to be something missing here. So why not go back down? And let's see if we can find something in 3D. Hey, buddy. There you go, that kills him. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here, actually. I'm gonna find a key. A key. The keys we need. I think we gotta find a way to uh, kill this guy up here. But yeah, we need a key. Doesn't seem like anything we can do up here. Now, I do think we need to find a way to kill this guy, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get Barry here. Yes. Uh, might be cheeky. I don't think you're supposed to do this, but I wanna see. I missed just barely. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you're actually supposed to go look for something here. Alright, so since we can't find a key, let's go back. Maybe we'll find something uh, in the first room that we didn't really look into before. Now, wait a minute. Nothing in this platform. Okay, I had to be sure. Let's go 3D here. Ah, there is a secret door. Okay. So we go up here, we'll find ourselves in a brand new room. So yeah, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff here. Now you can slow down time, get some hits here, very nice, and that guy's not dead, please die, thank you. Alright, so now I believe I want to change into Princess Peach here, because I I think there's a place where you gotta glide over. Yes. And you clearly cannot make that as Mario, so we're gonna go forward. And a brand new enemy. The Baribad. Alright, so you can't break his bear, but you can flip to get places it might not want you to. Okay. So yeah. I am not Mario, so I need to be Mario. Huzzah. And let me open up this chest. And now we have a key to that room that we weren't before. In. Pretty cool. I don't think we could actually like kill this thing um, from up close, obviously. Now, is it my find here? Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure you, you, won't, you won't be able to make this as Mario. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, buddy. Thank you. 
Okay. But yeah, we're, we're, we're doing some good progress here. The woe zone is actually a very interesting uh, point of interest because, uh, truth, truth be told, I don't remember this place too much in terms of layout, so it's kind of like we're doing a blind playthrough in a sense. Um, it's very interesting because it's been a very long time since I played this game, especially recording-wise, so it feels like I'm playing this game all over again for the first time, so it's, it's great. Nice to see that guy multiplied again. Alright, so we're gonna use this dimension key. We're gonna go forward, aka upstairs. And let's do this, do that, and when he gets in our way, we just smack him. There you go, he is done. A lot of coins from him, too. Uh, very interesting. Alright. Oh, this is a little bit disorienting. I'm actually, like, turning my head a bit. Um, but now that I realize, like, how the controls work here, it's actually not that bad. A little bit. I think I could use Princess Peach here again. Alright. Let's try, let's try Peach again. She can glide over, because she has the power to. Let's go up here. Alright, brand new room. Oh. Okay, not fair, but I'll take it. Alright, let's see. Uh, I was about to click the return pipe. Oh my goodness. Alright, we can go down here. And ooh, we can flip gravity. Alright. The gravity flippers. That is very interesting. I love that. Now we're up here. Oh dear. Okay. Gotta use Princess Peach again. So yeah, like, you're gonna be utilizing um, the characters a lot. Now you could use Bowser and just like, kill everything, but honestly I don't want to. And ooh, we're in this room now. Okay, so we're going a little bit forward, backwards. There's a pipe here. I wonder where we can see anything in 3D. We can get a key. I think I just did two things, like, two steps forward. I'm pretty sure this is the key to that door. Uh, I wonder, actually. Okay, no, I was wondering if I was able to go in there, but I guess not. So, yeah, I think I went, actually, I went pretty far ahead. I don't think I was supposed to do that just yet, but interesting. Okay, I guess we got it. So we're gonna get this key. We're gonna go in here. We're low-key speedrunning this area, because we can. Ow, Mario. Relax. Might as well smack him for points. Ow. Okay, I'm literally just taking so much damage. Let's let's finally eat that, uh... I, yeah, let's eat this. It'll be good. Chocolate. Yummy, yummy chocolate for my tummy. Okay, and how do I get out of here? Ah, I see. Okay. There's a little stool here. Jump on in. And go forward. Ow. I can never catch a break, okay? I'm very bad at platforming, as you can tell. And I think, yeah, I think we're supposed to go in here. <laughs> I don't think we were supposed to do that whole stuff with Princess Peach just yet. Um, I don't think there was a door over here. Alright. Jump. Jump. I can't see. Might be some jerk enemy placements coming up. I won't even be able to tell. Okay, this is the door. Please die. Thank you. Alright, let's go inside. And yeah, this is exactly the room where we need to be. Uh, I can't exactly go in there, but I can do that and it'll work. I want to see how this is. Bonus room blitz. Seems. Not exactly the most amount of coins. But yeah, there's some coins in here. Um, if you want to grab that, I guess, if you're in need of money. Not for us, though. Because we're, we're chilling. But we're going to open this door. We're going to move forward. We're literally breezing through this area. Oh my gosh. Alright. Gravity's going to change once again. And I don't think we're able to move anything there, so... We're going to change the gravity here. There is a secret door that we can reveal with TP. 
and just move forward. So yeah, like about this area, it's very interesting. I love the design of the aesthetics of this room. Um, you really don't see levels like this in games. It's so cool that Nintendo actually goes all out with level design in certain games, but they just don't do it anymore, man. Like I always get, a, I always hear like a lot of smack about this game. And honestly, like, I'd rather play this game over, like, the newer Paper Mario, and I'm sorry. Because the new, the newer Paper Mario games just make a lot of paper jokes, and it's just, uh, sometimes it's just, okay, we get it, it's Mario, but he's made out of paper. But this one actually had some very fun, you know, elements to it, and, like, this whole idea of, like, being able to, you know, switch gravity, and, like, it's a very interesting concept that they really do not explore in the later games. Um, I don't think there's anything here for me, so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna go inside. But personally, I, I feel like Paper Mario needs to go back into this direction of, uh, you know, actually doing things differently in a good way. Now, this door is locked, so we can't really do anything there. And it doesn't seem to be anything there, so we're gonna go back in the door that we came from. Now, if I remember correctly, the gravity has switched. How? Alright, I believe it'll change us to this direction. Very nice. Ow. Ow again. Ow again. Okay, I really cannot run. We have 7 health out of 30. We might just be eating our chocolate. Okay, so the key that we need is right there. There is a door. Yeah, we need that door, 100%. Uh, let me heal. I really don't want to use my chocolate bars right away, but I might as well since we're gonna be we're taking a lot of damage regardless. All right, one of these. Oh, a secret. And I just kill it. I literally. Oh, I just wasted that freaking chocolate bar. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, that's fine. Right? I guess. Alright. We got ourselves a key. I believe this is the last key that we need. Man, this music bumps too. That's crazy. Alright. Like, bro, like, who, like, who, literally, like, and then the Game & Watch samples, like, come on, dude, you can't get me started on this, it's amazing. Alright, where do I go? Where do I go from here? Where do I go, Cotton Eye Joe? Uh, was I already here? I could've sworn. I could've sworn. Alrighty then. Let's get started. Wait, I'm 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 lo I'm low-key dumb. All I had to do was like repress this button. I don't know why I had to go back there. Oh my god. See, like this is why you don't make me do things, because I'm an idiot. Alright. But now we should be good. And with that, we get the last key. I do want to save here because we might see some interesting things, I think. I don't know. I don't remember what's coming up. But let's check it out. Slowpokes! Squackles! Squirks was tired of waiting! Squirks almost gave up! If your heart is, you're looking for us just up ahead. Space grunts! Squirps, you've done well. You're a smart kid. Question mark? Who the hell? Squirrel squeeze! Stop it! Squirrel is embarrassed! Huh? Wait, whose voice was that, Squo? I don't know, man. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who are you? Oh, me? Just one of Count Black's more promising minions, the Green Thunder! Yahoo! Mr. L! Mr. L? I don't need you to tell me who wants a cool name, I know it. Don't bother memorizing it. Why? Because I'm about to give you a burial at sea. I mean, burial in space. Ho-ho! 
Because you're red doesn't mean you're strong. Have at you! Alright, so this is Mr. L. He's a very similar character to Mario, as you can tell. Um, you might want to be careful with his little abilities. You know what? I'm tired of you already, son. I'm gonna do the infamous combo of Bowser, because Bowser hasn't seen some action. So you're gonna be me death. Ah, oh, my HP is low. What do you mean? I have nothing. But I will got a Vulture. <laughs> yes. I will do this because I will memorize it. Yes! I got the full paralyzed power because I am very bad. I cannot paralyze enemies. You are dead to me, Mr. L. You little freakazoid of nature. And you're done. <laughs> Oh man, Bowser just took quick work. Oh, impressive. I guess there's one one thing to do, eh? Come to me, Metal Bro. <laughs> oh my god, this man just broke through the time rift space. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> do you like him? That is my dear Metal Brother. He and I share a spectra bond, you know? Yes, and his name is Brobot. Enough playing already. Now ready for pain. Oh, this is... Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So, Brobot's one of, actually one of my favorite bosses of all of Mario. I love this because the music is so good. Uh, let's do this. Now, we are getting low health here. Now, I don't think I want to be Bowser for this. All right. Eee! All right, so I can get chocolate bars. I can get speed up. I, I am dead. I am actually dead. Oh, no. I think I'm dead, actually. Oh my god. Give me chocolate! Give me chocolate! Give me chocolate! No! Ah, I gotta shoot him! I gotta shoot him! Oh my god. I just gotta spam, I gotta spam, I gotta spam! I gotta power up! Ooh, I'm insane, I'm insane! No! Ah! Okay, I... Underestimated, but I have plot armor. I'm spamming the heck out of this. Come here, chocolate. No. Ah! Now here we go. Oh my god, that was crazy. Hey, this makes no sense. Ah! <laughs> no, you beat robot. Uh, I'll let you off the hook for the rest of today, I suppose. But remember this. When Fortune smiles next, she'll smile right here on Mr. L. Oh, man. I wonder who that guy is. He's very funny. Okay. I gotta pull ourselves together, Space Grunts. The pure heart is ahead. Come on, Squinkles. I have five health. I got whole-ass five health. <laughs> oh, please stop beeping. Mommy, mommy, mommy! Squirps brought them here! Oh, we're finally here. Come on, say hi to Squirps mommy, Squirp. Yeah, this is Squirps mommy, the queen of Scorpia. Her name is Scorpina the 14th. The queen is your mother? So you are... Squirps is the prince of Scorpia. My once great kingdom, my true name is Squirp Corglin Scorpina. Interesting name. Sorry for not telling you, Squirps. Promise not to tell. It makes Squirps a target. Long ago, Squirps' mother was told that the destruction would come to the world. In order to protect us from this uh, destruction, we needed a pure heart. So Mommy hit the pure heart in the woe zone, where no one could get it. And so, 1500 years ago, Squirps was put to a deep sleep in a hibernation capsule. Squeak! Squirps was meant to bring the hero here, to protect the world, Squirple. Ah, so that's why. The Prince of Scorpia, Squirps, has a message from the Queen to deliver. I bestow upon you the pure heart in the hope that you'll save the world. Here, take it, Squirp. The end of chapter is here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness once again. My name is Ruby Kings, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Anyways, peace.